Taurus. This will happen in the next 48 hours for February the 1st through February the 2nd, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for February the 1st through February the 2nd, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for February the 1st through February the 2nd, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for February the 1st through February the 2nd, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you so much, Taurus. I really appreciate you guys' support. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus, you have the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' as relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Taurus could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Taurus. Clarify the devil for Taurus. Clarify the devil for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Taurus, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. Now Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in some type of legal binding contract and you're confronting this situation, confronting this person. Taurus, you can tell me that you're confronting this person because something is toxic here and you may be blocking them afterwards. Taurus, you have judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Taurus, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Taurus. Clarify judgment for Taurus. Clarify judgment for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something, to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Taurus, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Taurus, you may be calling judgment on your finances here. It could be some type of... Um, okay. <laughs> some type of confronting here over some type of legal binding contract. Taurus, you could be calling judgment on you guys' already established commitment. You could also tell me that this commitment is ending here. This is your judgment to end it because it's toxic. Hmm. Someone may be asking for forgiveness and a second chance here to restore. Taurus, you have the Queen of Pentacles. This is you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So Taurus, this is you. Clarify the queen of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the queen of pentacles for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the queen of pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Taurus, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision. You can tell me that you're using this sword to sever. Taurus, you have the two of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once. Weighing up the pros and the cons. Or juggling two relationships. So, Taurus, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide. Should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Clarify the two of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the two of pentacles. For Taurus, clarify the two of pentacles. For Taurus, it is clarified with the wheel of fortune. This is the divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a fated event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Taurus, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Taurus. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Taurus. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Taurus, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So, Taurus could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarify temperance for Taurus. 
Clarified Temperance for Taurus. Clarified Temperance for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. And this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Taurus, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Taurus, someone may be trying to rush something here. Because someone may be trying to rush something here, but it's a need to be patient. It's a timing thing. And you're like debating something, Taurus, or... You know, trying to weigh things up here. But there's maybe a rush here. There may be an opportunity here for practicality. And you're needing to make a judgment call or a decision, Taurus, for your financial stability. Some type of legal binding contract. Maybe you had an issue with it before, Taurus. Maybe you're trying to block it out. And they're coming back in and rushing you with this other offer. Taurus, someone could be coming and trying to change things with you, heal things with you, and offer you something here. And you could be debating on whether or not you want to heal things with this person, judgment, decision, or whether or not you just want to heal individually on your own. Taurus, you have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. Taurus could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords for Taurus. Clarify the King of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the King of Swords for Taurus. Taurus, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Two of Pentacles again, again. So you could be weighing things up, trying to decide should you, shouldn't you, or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Taurus, I do feel like you're weighing things up, trying to decide, making a decision. Number one, it could be concerning work or business or some type of an agreement. Taurus, you could also tell me that you're weighing things up trying to decide whether or not you're going to forgive this person because you can tell me that they were out being a player and juggling here, but they're trying to come in and try to maybe make things official with you, maybe speaking on commitment, but ultimately, you're needing to make a decision. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Taurus. Now, this is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Taurus. And it says, insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. Insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. You're greedy when it comes to some type of an agreement or contract, Taurus. So greedy. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? And it says, TikTok deadline time running out. TikTok deadline time running out. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Taurus, this will happen in the next 48 hours for February the 1st through February the 2nd, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.